An oppressive wave of high temperatures has Environment Canada once again issuing heat alerts for most of southern Ontario, including Hamilton, Halton and Niagara. Feeling like 40 degrees in some areas with the Humidex, the high temps are impacting how people are getting through their day. Jason Guidola joins us live from Van Wagner's Beach in Hamilton with more on this story. Jason. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. It's quite tempting for uh, myself to go uh, jump in the water, but uh, that's been the reality here for other people here at the beach looking to find some relief due to this heat. Uh, but it has issued, there has been some uh, health advisories by the city of Hamilton due to the heavy rain uh, that has happened uh, the last couple of days. The city does regularly test for E. coli uh, in the water. And as of today, Confederation Park Beach, just not too far from here, is uh, deemed unsafe to swim. And the city is waiting for more lab results for other locations. A dip in the water with just their legs and feet is enough for beachgoers at Van Wagner's Beach to deal with the hot and humid conditions. Temperature wise, it's, I thought it might be a bit warmer, but I'm not surprised that it's not because like Ontario is pretty cold usually. Um, I'm doing an hour and then I go for a dip and then I'll probably get something from Hutch's. That's why I'm so close by. While dozens of people flood the shore of the East End Beach, the city of Hamilton says it's testing the water quality here following days of hot weather and heavy rain. I know it rained a few days ago, so sometimes it stirs up the lake and they always tell you don't go in right after the rain. I'm not drinking it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Is that the wrong answer? <laughs> Meanwhile, across Hamilton, many were looking for some instant relief at the splash pads. Instant oh relief. I was dying of heat and sweating. And then as soon as the water turned on, it I'm felt tired. amazing. I'm good. So she's good. She's good. Whole fa my whole my fan. Oh, my friends, good. At Gage Park, if by the water or the shade, families plan to take precaution. Oh, well, we probably we just came to grab some food and then have a little picnic and we'll be out. So I would say like an hour max. Environment Canada says today's big scorcher will feel like 40 degrees or higher with the humid X, and it's important for people to check the air quality. Hamilton officials extended a heat warning, prompting a halt in outdoor recreational programming, but there was free admission at city pools. The city of Hamilton says because of the heat warning, it has closed all but one of its public wading pools because it cannot maintain chlorine levels to regulations due to the extreme heat. Hamilton EMS David Thompson says heat related calls have been coming in over the past few days. Elderly patients, uh, young children who don't realize that they're actually getting warm and uh, can't uh, you know, take them out of themselves out of that environment. Thompson says to monitor for things like dehydration and a lack of sweating both signs of heat illnesses. Uh, you know, people need to seek that, that cool environment, so that's why the city has the cooling centers, things like that open. The city of Hamilton has yet to update us on the res lab results here, uh, Binbrook Con Conservation Area and Bayfront Park, but according to its webpage, it does not recommend uh, to anyone to go out swimming 24 to 48 hour hours after a rainfall.